Welcome back to a new episode, guys. This week we find ourselves in Wheeling, West Virginia, where we go on a snowy and cold adventure, but also find ourselves back on our skates. Here we are, new city, new week. Currently doing a side trip to Ohio Pile State Park, but we're performing in Wheeling this week. And look at this place. After the snowfall, we're trying to find this place called Cucumber Falls. And it was supposed to be a 25 minute hike, but with the snow, we're being slowed down a little bit. On a cave. I know it's gonna melt anyways, but oh, that's a nice one. Hey, Ohio Pile State Park, one out of 10. 7.9. 7.9 guys, you heard it here first. Welcome to Wheeling. It is currently Friday afternoon, 12 o'clock. We have just finished our early morning PR this morning, which actually was the first ever freestyle PR they did. So they took four freestylers, which was Mogan, Alex, Patrick and I, and we were on live television doing tricks. They do that on live television to kind of sell the show and have people know about us being in town. But this is the first time they actually took freestylers as an element to be used in public relations. So that's really nice. Disney on Ice takes on Wheeling at West Banco Arena. News 9's Gianna Dupre joins us live with the very latest. Gianna, good morning. Which you'll we'll see behind here, we have four amazing freestylers from Europe. And they are demonstrating some really cool tricks for us. Wow. And because it's done in hockey skates, it also allows them to go off of jumps. And so in our show, it, you will see them go off some ice ramps and perform some really cool tricks in our Frozen segment. And it's really so exciting. It gets the audience so hype. And it's truly one of my favorite segments in the show. That is awesome. Awesome. Look at these guys. Look at this. This is really amazing. I can't even imagine what was going to happen next. This is awesome. People are going to love seeing this uh, on the Disney on Ice show. Now it was a cool experience as well. And after that, I also got to do some web setting on live TV. I'm actually really starting to like these PRs. But the only downside is they're really early in the morning usually, which is not what excites me that much. We went to Ohio Pile State Park on Monday, which was a really nice place. It had just snowed and it was raining a little bit, so definitely not like the driest day, but it was nice to just get out there and get some fresh air. I'm gonna eat some lunch now and then head over to Rampice. So we'll see you guys there. Hey. What's the goal for today? Just high jumps and good clean grabs. High jumps and good clean grabs. You heard it here first. Thing. Whoa! 
Like the old days. Whoa. Hey, this is the guy you see. Whoa. Put that one real quick. All right, let's go. It's good to add <laughs> right, one. Then. Come on, come on. So that you will have of me. Yeah, you ready, bro? Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Now this is one of the OG freestylers. You're seeing it here. Ay, ay. Dirty, ay. No toe picks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. CJ, what's up? Go dirty, bro. Come on. Hey, your helmet, mate. Hey, hey. Come on. Oh, no. Trick two here. Unfortunately, this session was not in the evening, so we gotta strike our stuff. We only had 45 minutes. See you guys in open eyes on Sunday. It is Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Open eyes, last day. Traveling to Grand Rapids tonight. But first, some Greeks. because I haven't since that session but it is so intimidating this trick don't be scared of falling but don't prepare for falling funny because when you with that leg up high it feels like you're going super high and then I look back at the videos and I'm like really bro come on you can do better than that